book of Isaiah chapter 26 verse 1 to 4. In that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. You have a strong city. God makes salvation, its walls and uh, lampard. Open the gates, and he is the righteous uh, nation may enter. The nation that kept faith. You will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast, because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord, the Lord is the Lord of the Lord eternal. Yeah. This morning I would like to share with you trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. You know that God is good, yeah? Amen. You know that God is right, yes? You know that God's in control, yeah? You have to believe this basic things. But this is the one. There's no there is no peace in Jerusalem. Psalm one hundred and twenty two verse six say, Pray for peace of Jerusalem. Those you love Jerusalem will prosper. There's no peace in Jerusalem. What does it mean of Jerusalem? Seat of Shalom. Seat of peace. There's a strong <coughs> Muslims in, in Jerusalem. Jews who believe in the Judaism and some religious people. There's no peace in Jerusalem at all. But you know, most of the religious people would love to go to Jerusalem <laughs> yeah, because of spiritual city. No, no peace. But look at the verse 3. You will keep in perfect peace. How can you get the perfect peace? Only Jesus. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. When you pray for peace of Jerusalem, like now, yeah, let the people in Jerusalem recognize that Jesus is their Messiah, their God, their Savior. If you claim that, if you believe that, then, then they can get the peace. Pray for peace of Jerusalem means people of Jerusalem need to come to Jesus. There's no peace at all. But do you know who will get the amazing peace? Actually, verse end of verse 3, because he trusts in you. Anybody trusting God, yeah, they have amazing, perfect peace, and their mind is steadfast. Steadfast, not changing, stable. Yeah. This is, uh, you know, this is what God wants for you and me. And verse four, trust in the Lord forever. Can you say to each other? Trust in the Lord forever, say to each other. Trust in the Lord forever. Yeah, trust in the Lord forever and ever. All the days of your life. Trust in the Lord. For the Lord, the Lord is the Lord eternal. Not changeable. Not shakeable. Lord eternal. We build a house on the Lord. We build a house on the word of God. Never change. Yeah, God is good. God is in control. God is merciful. Sometimes, two times, we don't understand <laughs> any situation. Why? 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 But believe God is in control. Therefore, we have to trust in the Lord. We can say to God, Lord, I, I don't know all this situation, but one thing I do know, you are good. Therefore, I trust in you. <coughs> I trust in you with all my heart, with all my strength. Trust in Jesus. Look at the Psalm 20, verse 7. Psalm 20. Psalm 20, verse 7. Some trust in chariot and some in horses. Do you know chariot and horse means so powerful? Trust in the word, trust in the power. Trust in the money, trust in the fame, trust in the, their, what they have. Chariot and horses means all these worldly things. But we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Do you understand? Don't trust in any things. Trust in Jesus. Yeah. Some trust in the chariot, some in horses. But we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Can you trust in Jesus? Trust in Jesus. 
rely on Jesus, depend on Jesus. Yeah. Total trust, total trust. Trust in God. Trust in God is most important. Yeah. How many how many times you you discourage, you upset, you you experience a failure because you trust in some someone. You trust in your money. You trust in, in your qualification, your job. Trust in so many worldly things. Already you have experience. Trust in Jesus in any circumstance. Yeah. There's a beautiful song, Psalm thirty two, verse ten. There's so many scriptures speak about trust in the law. Psalm thirty two verse ten. Many are the wood of the wicked, but the Lord is unfailing love. Do you have the unfailing love? Surround the man who trusts in him. If you trust in him, if you trust in God, you can have the Lord's unfailing love. Did you did you did you experience the Lord's unfailing love? When was uh, the last time you experienced the Lord's unfailing love? When was it? Did you enjoy the unfailing love? Beautiful, wonderful. Why? Because you trust in God. If you trust in Jesus, yeah, these things, the Lord's unfailing love will surround you. Can you see that? The Lord's uh, unfailing love surround the man who trusts in God. Trust in Jesus. Trust in Jesus. Trust in Jesus. All the time you have to trust in Jesus. Yeah. Can you look at the verse, uh, Psalm 37? Psalm 37, verse 5 and 6. Psalm 37, verse 5 and 6. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Jesus. Trust in Him. And He will do this. Psalm 37, verse 5 and 6. Commit your way to the Lord. And trust in God. And He will do this. And He will make your light just shine like the dawn. And the justice of your cause like a noonday sun. If you trust in the law, God will all work you together for good. Trust in Jesus. Oh Lord, help me to trust in you. I love to trust in Jesus daily. Every day of your life. Trust in Jesus. I claim all the times so I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. When I say I no longer live, but Christ lives in, uh, in me. That means... I trust in Jesus. Jesus, you are my master. You are my God. You are my everything. Psalm 118, verse 8 and 9. Beautiful Psalms. But David, Psalm 118, verse 8 and 9. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man if you trust in man <laughs> you know that you already experience it is better to take refuge in the law than to trust in the law and look verse 9 it is better it is better to take refuge in the law than to the trust in princes man and princes so powerful isn't it but it's better take you all your burden unto Jesus Trust in Jesus. Trust in Jesus is most important in your life. Whatever you do, wherever you go, trust in Jesus with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. Can you look at the Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7 and 8? I shared uh, many, many verses this morning. Jeremiah 17, verse 7 and 8. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7 and 8. But the blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. Do you want to be the man and woman of blessed? Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. If you trust in the Lord, you are the one, the blessed. Whose confidence is in him. He will be like a tree planted by the water. The sand out is looted by the stream. It does not fear when the heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries. 
in the evil throat, and uh, never fails to bear fruit. Never, ever lose your heart. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. If you trust in the Lord, He will, He will guide you and direct you. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. All the time you have to trust in the Lord. When you trust in the Lord, He will guide you. He will direct you. Oh God, help me. I didn't trust in you. Forgive me. Change me. Trust in the Lord. When you trust in the Lord, yeah, you will see the peace of God. You will see the grace of God in your life all the times. Trust in the Lord. Yeah. Can you look at the Psalm, Psalm 56, verse 3 and 4? Psalm 56, 3 and 4. When I am afraid, I will trust in you. Psalm 56, verse 4. Verse 3, sorry. Psalm 56, verse 3. A a anybody, sometimes, two times you're afraid, you need to trust in Jesus. Trust in Jesus. When I'm afraid, I will trust in you. In God, whose word I praise. In God, I trust. Have you heard about the in God we trust? <laughs> American dollar. <laughs> in God we trust. We believe in God, that means. I will not be afraid. What can mortal man do to me? In God, I trust. Lord, help me to trust in you. If you, if your trust level is so high, <laughs> your worry level, worry and stress level is, uh, you know, lower. If your trust level is uh, like uh, this, this level you worry yourself, stress is like this. <laughs> that is what Jesus said, cast your burden unto Jesus. He will care for you. He will care for you. Trust in me, what Jesus said. Trust in me. Trust in me. If you trust in God, the Bible say, when I'm actually, uh, the, the, this is a, the David's prayer, he said, when I'm afraid, I will trust in you. I will trust in you. I don't know. Most of our congregation knows our our, our my case. Around the six years ago, 2018, there is a Brixton prison case. I was chaplain for 20 years in Brixton prison. Brixton prison is a is a very nice prison. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what chaplain? Senior chaplain is a Muslim imam. Muslim, Muslim imam, he made about uh, me accusation. <coughs> Do you know? All kind of lies, accusation, report to the Minister of Justice. You know, Minister of Justice is a very big organization, one of the biggest organization, gov government organization in the United Kingdom. The Minister of Justice, they're kicking out to me from prison ministry. I was working in there for 20 years, can you imagine? And I prayed to our Lord, I think it's now it's time, I think it's stopped the work. But the Holy Spirit spoke to me, fight the good fight of faith. Not just fight, fight the good fight of faith. I will be with you, I will be fighting for you. Fight. And then I contacted the solicitors. Christian Council is a wonderful Christian you know, uh, solicitors. Do you know how many years case? This course, the, the court case? Four years. <laughs> Four years court case. In COVID time, there's no gym, gym, uh, there's a government, there's some security, uh, some internet meeting. Six, around eight and nine people gathering. I get a very big file over 300 pages <laughs> of the document the document I studying and then so many dinner you know, the 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 word is uh, I don't understand because of all kind of law <laughs> and I study I pray to your law I love to read the Bible why do I need to read this kind of <laughs> I don't like it but because God spoke to me fight the good fight of faith 
And God said to me, Trust in me. I will do it for you. Yeah? Commit your way to the Lord. And trust in Jesus. When you trust in God, God will do it. Actually, when I attend the, this uh, court case in COVID time, <laughs> BBC, the <you know, coughs> reporter, joined ITB. Because of the media people, they join uh, in the court case. The judge, he cannot give the, the, the answer. They delay, continue delay, delay, six month delay, eight month delay, one year, four years. By the grace of God, 2022, this is just like over one year, three months ago. And then mediator, the mediator, these people, they are the ex- the uh, Supreme Court judge. They are very famous. I, I check it. Their background is the most well-known judges in UK. These are the mediator. When I went to the High Court, I went to High Court, and we do our solicitor was six or seven of our team, and mediator is around the, I don't know five or six, and the minister just is their team or I don't know. Even they are seven, seven or eight. Mediator in the middle, the three offices. Do you know what time we start the meeting? From 9 a.m. until 9, 9 p.m. <laughs> 12 hours. I, I drink the four or five, uh, drink the tea of coffee and one sandwich. <laughs> Concentrate. And then, because of the ministry judges, they banned, banned me for never enter the prison for 10 years. They did like that. Because uh, I trust in God. Lord, you can do something. I trust in Jesus. Guess what happened? Around 8 p.m., 7.30, 8 p.m., and then we get the result. Then everybody gathered together in a big, loud table. And then we discuss it again, finally. And then we did the suggest to our team and their team. To ask the Minister of Justice, you made a mistake. You have to apologize to the Reverend Paul so. <laughs> Can you imagine Minister of Justice apologize to me? Even they pay me 15,000 pounds. <laughs> this is not talking about the money, it's, a, it's, a, it's a glory of the law. It's a, it's a uh, splendor from enemy. But I bless them. The, the leader of a mediator is quite well known. The, he was a governor. I talked with him. You need Jesus. <laughs> when I talked to him, you need Jesus. He almost cried. I saw tears. He said to me, my wife is born again. She prayed for me over 30 years. And uh, oh, I almost cried. <laughs> Can you imagine? I talked to him in front of the toilet. Like nobody in there. And I told him, you need Jesus. He almost cried. I hold his hand. I pray for him. He said, I will bring you Jesus. I will go to church together with my wife. He said to me, do, do you understand? I trust in Jesus. When I trust in Jesus, I get the great victory. When I trust in Jesus, that guy, Holy Spirit, touch him. When I trust in Jesus, it's not you work. Jesus is the one to take control of your life. Trust in Jesus with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. When you trust in Jesus, totally, yeah, He will take control of your life. I trust in Jesus in any circumstance. I meditate. Do you know how many times breathe, out, breathe in per day? Anybody knows how many times per day? Twenty six thousand times. Twenty six thousand times breathe out, breathe in per day. <coughs> Do you know inside my heart I, when I breathe out, I meditate. I no longer live. Breathe in, but Christ lives in me. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. I meditate. All the time. Twenty four seven. Twenty four always. And then <coughs> because <coughs> I meditated, Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, 
20. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. You know what I feel? I fell with the strong presence of the Lord. When I fell with the strong presence of the Lord, I saw the miracles and signs and wonders. Yesterday, we went to the, the YMCA, Indian YMCA, <coughs> last night. Go to three guys uh, at the reception. <laughs> I, I shared the gospel. And one guy said, yeah, I'm a Christian. They are Hindus. <laughs> And I preached the gospel. Guess what happened? Two guys accepted the Lord Jesus as their personal savior. I thanks be to God. Yesterday morning, I went to the, some office. The lady, she's very strict. I, I talked with her every day. And when I finished uh, some conversation, I told her, <coughs> if you die, where should you go? Can you imagine a client to ask the dead lady, if you die, where should you She was shocked. <laughs> she said, I don't know. I can tell you, how can you go to heaven? I share the gospel of Lord Jesus. Simple, within two minutes. And then if you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins, receive Jesus as your personal Savior. Receive him in your heart. And your name is written on the book of life. One day you can go to heaven. You can be a child of God today. Today is a day of salvation. Would you like to receive the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior? She said, yes. I was praying for her. Do you understand? Thanks be to God. The lady gave her life to Jesus. The court case of uh, the Brixton prison, God wants to save the source. I went to the last night meeting. For what? To save the source. Yesterday morning, some meetings. For what? to save the souls. When people become a born again Christian and they can start a uh, new life, new life. Brother John, how do you feel? You feel very good now, yeah? Better. Better. Almost we died last year, do you remember? <laughs> God save it. <laughs> Yesterday, one of the lady, our sister, she was preaching. In a little church, your church, our church is very similar. We share the testimony every single Sunday. One lady, she was preaching on the street yesterday. She is our, our church member. Three years ago, when I was preaching the gospel on the street, Holy Spirit touched her, and she collapsed on the floor. She was crying. The word of God come upon her. And then she came to our church. She received water baptism. She started a new life. But her testimony, she shared testimony in our church a few times. She said, Pastor Paul, I went to prison for how many times? <laughs> 25 times. <laughs> 25 times I went to prison. The woman, English woman, go to prison 25 times. And the British government uh, not allowed to make a passport. <laughs> she has got the passport. <laughs> I contacted the home office and say, she is no more, you know, uh, cheating or cunning or she is uh, different. No more addiction. Got delivered from drugs and alcohol disease. And then she get the passport. Last year, last year she get the passport, and uh, when you go for mission to Iceland, she come together with our team. And uh, she she didn't get the bank account. Can you imagine? <laughs> open bank account is easy. For, for, for her, they don't, um, bank, they don't want to open the account for her. Why? She can cheat. <laughs> she get a bank account and then get a drive license. She become wonderful, wonderful woman of God. She loves Jesus. Trust in Jesus. When you trust in Jesus, God is in control. God can deal with uh, your family. God can touch them, save them, transform their life. If you trust in Jesus. If you try to change somebody, impossible. I don't trust in myself also. <laughs> yeah. If you trust in yourself, you big problem. Never do it. Trust in Jesus. Trust in Jesus. Can you say to each other, trust in Jesus all the time. Say to each other, trust in Jesus all the time.
all the times you have to trust in Jesus. If you trust in Jesus, you know the hands of God. You know all things God work for good. Can you say amen? amen? All things work together for good because you trust in Jesus. You trust in Jesus. Trust in Jesus. I went to the uh, Indian embassy a few days ago. They reject three times. Early this morning, I opened up my. We are, I will play again the EBJ. Guess what happened? They reject again. <laughs> I never, ever, ever, I went to the over 50 countries in the world. This first time in my life, reject, reject, four times. I love Indians. <laughs> we have around 10 Indians come to our church. I love them. I pray for India. But I trust in Jesus. God is in control. God is in control. I trust in Jesus. Why people, they have the depression? The expectation like this, but actually happen is like this. <laughs> if there is big gap between the, the expectation and the reality, and they have depression, which means they don't trust in Jesus. If they trust in Jesus, praise God. If the Indian government reject me, still say praise God, praise God, Amen. Amen. Praise God. I shared one more testimony and finish. I moved for 18 times since I came to London. Some of our members say to me, Pastor Paul, you are like a gypsy. You are moving all the time. <laughs> 18 times and then I come to London. I moved all the, my things, put in the, our minibus, all my clothes and shoes, all my things in, the, in our minibus. And then, I waiting for the estate agency to come to the new house and give us key at 6 p.m. after the office hour. I wait and wait until 9 and 10. They didn't come. <laughs> At the time, there's no mobile phone time. Do you know what I did? All my things. I drive the minibus, go back to my old house, and I sleep one more night. I park in the, the minibus. I sleep at my house is the first floor. Next day morning I wake up. Guess what happened? When I come out from our minibus, I took the my small suitcase, my passport, some important document, I move out. When I come back to home and I sleep well and then when I wake up and look at our, our minibus. Guess what happened? Somebody stole how <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Can you imagine? All my life is like gone. Wow. I called my wife. Come, come. <laughs> I and my wife look at each other. Do you know what Jeff? The book of Job. Do you know what Job say? <laughs> Give and take away. <laughs> Give and take away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God give and take away. Still we praise the name of the Lord. <coughs> that song made by Let Madman. Give and take away. His wife uh, delivered the baby, baby died. That is why he made uh, that song. God give and take away still. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That is life. When I lost everything. <laughs> the Bible says, you come to this world with the empty hand. We died with the empty hand. <laughs> when I, I, I didn't die, but I, I lost everything. <laughs> it's gone. Jesus. I trust in you. It's material things come and go. We, we don't need to worry about these things. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise you. God teach me how to trust in the Lord in any circumstance. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We love you. Because of, uh, you loved us first. You Demonstrate your love. While we are still sinners, Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Help us to trust in you with uh, all our heart. Lord, in any circumstance, we know that God is in control. We know that God is good. We know that God always is right. We know that you are a merciful God. Lord, 
We trust in you. In any circumstance. We know that all things God work for good. We love you. You know how much we love you. We love you with all our heart. We praise your name. We glorify your name. We will trust in you. When I'm afraid, I will trust in you. All the more. When you trust in you, the Lord's unfailing love surrounds me. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Keep on praying for mission to India. And um, five people booking the ticket to go to <coughs> India. And <laughs> two people reject. <laughs> But we'll see. Keep on praying for mission today. Thank you. Bless you.